In this video on mathematical economics series, we will solve a problem on finding the IS curve from the given consumption and investment function. The question is like this. When consumption function is given as C is equal to 15 plus 0 0.5 Y subscript D, where C is the consumption, with this 15 denotes the autonomous consumption, that does not depend upon the disposable income. 0 0.5 is our marginal propensity to consume and Y subscript D denotes the disposable income. And we have the investment function given as I is equal to 150 minus 10 R, where 150 is our autonomous investment, that does not depend upon the level of interest rate. And uh, this uh, also we are being given that uh, government expenditure is equal to 20, which in turn is equal to tax. That is the lump sum tax here. That very tax, which does not depend upon uh, the level of income. We have to find the IS curve. The co options are given as y is equal to 350 minus 20 or y is equal to 440 minus 40 or y is equal to 350 minus 40 or or y is equal to 470 minus 40, uh, 40 or where r is the rate of interest. So we have to find the ice curve okay how do we find the ice curve let us see what we are being given so actually we are being given the consumption c is equal to 15 plus 0 0.5 y subscript d okay this is our consumption function now what is this y subscript d y subscript d denotes uh, the disposable income that is what is our total income and when we subtract the taxes that are being subtracted from the uh, income we get the disposable income okay here we can see this t is being given as 20 okay so we can write y subscript d is equal to y minus 20 this is our disposable income okay also we are being uh, told that our investment function is investment is equal to 150 uh, minus 10 r this is our investment function which is a uh, uh, which is the function of uh, rate of interest okay and also we are being told here that our government expenditure is equal to 20 okay now how do we uh, 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 represent the is curve so is curve we can uh, find it by that is we write y is equal to that is our uh, total gdp is equal to consumption expenditure plus investment expenditure okay what is our consumption expenditure that is being given here that is one uh, sorry 15 plus uh, 0.5 y subscript d okay plus uh, investment is being given as 150 minus 10 r okay now we can write it like this we have uh, 15 plus 0 0.5 in place of y subscript d that is our disposable income this is equal to y minus 20 so i will write here y minus i can also write t uh, to make it simple for you so y minus t gives us uh, this uh, disposable income also we have 150 uh, minus 10 r okay now let's give the values here so we have 15 uh, plus 0 0.5 into y minus uh, 0 0.5 into t plus 150 minus 10 r okay or we can write it like this uh, 15 uh, plus 0 0.5 y minus 0 0.5 the value of t is being given as t is equal to 20 so i can write in place of t i will write 20 plus 150 minus 10 r okay so this is our y now let's do some calculation here and i hope i make uh, the calculation right we have 0 0.5 y now 0.5 means one half so one half of 20 is 15 so i will write here 15 plus 150 minus 10 r okay if i just transpose this uh, uh, 0.5 uh, to lhs so we have y minus 0 0.5 is equal to now we have 15 uh, Am I doing it correctly? Is it 15? Yes, it is being given as 15. So this 15 and 15 will get uh, cancelled. So we are left with uh, 
0 0.5 into 20 it comes out to be 10 half of 20 is 10 so i made here the mistake so 15 minus 10 comes out to be 5 i'm not sure whether i have done the uh, calculation right or not yes i have done the calculation right but i forgot to uh, add on the government expenditure variable here which is 20 here okay so we have this 20 here so y is equal to consumption expenditure investment expenditure and government expenditure so we have 20 here 20 here 20 here and 20 here okay now what is a 15 uh, minus 10 is for you and for you plus 20 is for you plus 20 is 25 25 plus 150 is equal to 175 so we have 175 minus 10 r okay so i'm not uh, good at calculation so i hope i made uh, the calculation right here so if we take y is common so we are left with 1 minus 0 0.5 is equal to 175 minus 10 r here okay so uh, y 1 minus 0 0.5 is uh, in turn equal to 0 0.5 is equal to 175 minus 10 r or here uh, we can write it like this 0 0.5 can be written as one half is equal to 175 minus 10 r okay now if we transpose this term here it will get a uh, divided to each of these terms so we have y is equal to 175 upon 1 by 2 minus 10 upon 1 by 2 r okay and this in turn is equal to so this is if we reciprocate it it will get multiplied with 175 this comes out to be 2 fives are 10 uh, 2 sevens are 14 and 1 is 15 2 ones are 2 that is 350 minus similarly here 10 into 2 is equal to 20 or that means our is function will be this very thing okay and what exactly does uh, this is function tell us let me draw the graph here okay so we have a level of gdp or income here and rate of interest here and here we can easily say uh, see that uh, income is the negative uh, function of rate of interest so our um, is function will be negative sloped and this is curve uh, denotes different combinations of rate of interest and level of income every point on the is curve shows us different combinations of rate of interest let us say we have r1 r2 r3 y1 y2 y3 okay so every combination this point denotes r1 y1 okay similarly this point is r2 y2 this is r3 y3 okay so every point uh, on the ice curve shows different combinations of rate of interest and level of income where our savings is equal to investment okay i hope i make myself clear in this video okay actually we were being given a consumption function and investment function also we were being told that government expenditure is equal to 20 which is equal to t that is the lump sum tax because t does not depend upon the level of income so we have the lump sum tax here we were told to find the is curve so what we did first we wrote these very things we have consumption function after that we wrote the disposable income is equal to uh, that very level of income which we get after uh, deducting the taxes from that and taxes is here a lump sum so we have y subscript d that is disposable income is equal to y minus 20 our investment function was given government expenditure was also autonomous here and it was 20 now is function can be found by solving this very uh what we call the gdp uh, identity or equation uh, whatever you call it here so y is equal to c plus i plus 20 i wrote it uh, here 20 it is actually g first okay so it is here g and g in turn is equal to 20 okay that means our uh, total gdp will be equal to the consumption expenditure investment expenditure and the government expenditure okay 
so after solving this uh, we came to the conclusion that y is equal to 350 minus 20 r which is our typical is curve okay and on is curve what we have we have the different combinations of rate of interest and level and level of income where our savings is equal to investment actually i did not use the formal notation first we write the x axis point then y axis point so it should be like this uh, y1 r1 okay then we have y2 r2 similarly we have y3 r3 okay i am just using the usual uh, notation okay i hope i make myself clear in this video thank you